In the digital age, attention equals currency. Gambian content creators like their counterparts worldwide are vying for views, likes and subscribers. And they've discovered a potent formula for success, ST Brikama Boyo. His name in a title guarantees a surge in engagement. Reaction videos, song reviews, even casual mentions all see a significant uptick when associated with the rapper. This reliance on his name for visibility has become an unspoken rule in the Gambian content creation game. Est Brikama Boyo. The name echoes through the streets of Gambia, synonymous with pulsating beats and catchy lyrics. He's more than just a rapper. He's a cultural phenomenon. His music videos rack up millions of views. His concerts are legendary, packed with devoted fans. Sembrikama Boyo is undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with in Gambian entertainment. His rise to fame is a testament to his talent and his connection with the youth. He embodies the spirit of a generation finding its voice. But his influence extends far beyond his music. It seeps into the very fabric of Gambian content creation, shaping narratives and influencing choices. While capitalizing on ST Brickema, Boyo's popularity seems like a smart strategy. It comes at a cost. Authenticity. Content creators, driven by the desire for views, often shy away from expressing genuine opinions about the rapper. Critical analysis is replaced with glowing praise. Constructive feedback is traded for unbridled adoration. This creates an ecosystem where honest critique is muted, replaced by a chorus of voices echoing the same sentiment. The fear of backlash is palpable. Content creators who dare to critique ST Brickema Boyo, even constructively, often find themselves on the receiving end of online vitriol. His fan base, fiercely loyal and protective, doesn't hesitate to unleash their displeasure. This can range from hateful comments to unsubscribing en masse. The message is clear, criticize the king and face the wrath of his subjects. This environment of fear stifles honest discourse and limits the diversity of perspectives in Gambian entertainment. The issue isn't confined to entertainment. In Gambian politics, content creators face similar pressures. There are certain groups they are expected to support, and going against these groups can lead to the same repercussions as criticizing S.T. Brickham Aboyo. The Gambian spirit, a force for change. The weight of expectations, popularity over substance. In the digital age, content is king. In the Gambia, recognition is dictated by expectations. Emerging talents face pressure to align with what's popular. This stifles originality and diverse voices. It impacts how information is shared and consumed. Popular figures overshadow crucial conversations. Transparency lost in the shadows. The consequence is a stifled narrative, a lack of transparency in Gambian life. Content creators avoid sensitive topics, hiding the full picture. This affects governance, accountability, and social justice. Lack of transparency breeds mistrust and hinders progress. Voices silenced, the price of authenticity. The fear of backlash is a real struggle for many Gambian content creators. Expressing dissenting views can lead to online harassment and threats to personal safety. This fear forces many to self-censor or abandon their creative pursuits. This silence comes at a price. Embracing diversity, the path to true progress. The true strength of any community lies in its diversity. The Gambia, with its rich cultural tapestry, can become a beacon of creativity. This happens if diverse voices are heard and originality is celebrated. Empower content creators to share their stories without fear. A call for unity empowering Gambian voices. Gambian content creators face challenges from limited resources to lack of support. Despite these struggles, they shape the nation's narrative, support all creators, even those with differing views. They challenge, question, and present new perspectives. Engage in respectful dialogue and recognize their stories. These creators inspire, educate, and ignite change. Foster an environment where creativity thrives and the diverse Gambian spirit shines through. Empower Gambian voices. Today I'm diving into a topic that's been on my mind for a while now. 
I'm talking about Gambian YouTubers, TikTokers, and Facebook content creators, and the truth behind some of their content. It's no secret that social media has become a major platform for creators around the world, including here in the Gambia, but not everything is as it seems. You see, many of us tune in to watch our favorite Gambian YouTubers, TikTokers, and Facebook content creators expecting genuine content. We trust their words, their opinions, and their stories. But what if I told you not everything they say and do is always honest? That's right. Some creators are more focused on getting followers and views than being truthful with their audience. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying every Gambian content creator is like this. There are plenty of amazing creators out there who are genuine and honest. But unfortunately, there are also those who will bend the truth or even outright lie just to get ahead. They might support things that are wrong or avoid taking a stand on important issues just to keep their channels popular. Why do they do this? Well, in the world of social media, more followers and views often mean more revenue. So, some creators feel pressured to do whatever it takes to grow their channels, even if it means compromising their integrity. But here's the thing. As viewers, we have the power to change this. We can choose to support creators who are honest and authentic. We can call out those who aren't being truthful and we can encourage a culture of honesty and integrity in the Gambian social media community. So, the next time you watch a Gambian YouTuber, TikToker or Facebook content creator, take a moment to think critically about what they're saying. Are they being genuine? Are they standing up for what's right or just what's popular? Your support and engagement can make a huge difference. And to the Gambian content creators out there, I say this. Be honest with your audience. They trust you and you have a responsibility to be truthful with them. After all, integrity is worth more than any number of followers. Thanks for watching. And let's work together to create a more honest and authentic social media community here in the Gambia. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content. Stay true, everyone.